And welcome to the Take Your Breather podcast with Stacey Every and Eric Almeida. This is a tapping Thursday where we will take you through a tapping exercise so that you can experience a sampling of EFT and see how it can help you. As always, uh, like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and please give us a five-star review on Apple Podcast or wherever you listen. That helps out the channel a ton. Uh, if you're looking for instructions on how to tap with EFT, please listen to episode two of this podcast, where we go into intimate detail as to how all the points work and where to tap and all that fun stuff. Our normal weekly disclaimer, this Tapping Thursday is not meant to diagnose or treat any issues. Uh, if you do experience any strong reactions while performing this Tapping Thursday, please pause the recording and keep tapping until you calm down and tap faster as needed. It helps calm down that fight, fight and freeze response that the Tapping taps into. Uh, the goal of this is to tap on a general feeling and it is geared towards coping, but not deep healing. But if you do experience any interesting thoughts or memories that come up, please write them down so that you can work on them later on your own. Or you can hire a practitioner like one of us if you're interested and you can use coupon code breather, which is all, all this is in the show notes. And you can get $30 off your first session with either one of us if you'd like to tap with one of us on a particular issue. This week's topic is going to be on the ever looming concept of change. And so I'm going to kick it over to Stacy. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, I was thinking about this topic quite a lot and um, thinking about focusing on the fact that the world around us is changing so much. And I think we all have some serious change fatigue. We have lots of different types of fatigue, pandemic fatigue, change fatigue. And this, um, this session will be to help uh, acknowledge the discomfort we have around change and help our bodies feel a little more um, philosophical and calmer about the prospects. So like, like you too, and this is for Eric as well, to feel your feet on the floor, take some nice breaths and feel yourself in your present space. Breathing in slowly into the lower belly and breathing out just as slowly. And bring into your mind the idea of the world changing all around you. Both what's happened this year and anything that's happened in the past. And see how you emotionally react to the concept of change and how you physically react to the concept of change. What emotions come up? Where do you feel it in your body? It might be a heaviness or an emptiness or pressure, temperature in a particular part of your body. And focus in on how you're feeling and rate the intensity of the feelings and physical sensations, how strongly you react to the concept of change happening constantly around you on a scale of zero to 10, zero being change is great, you love change, it's exciting and fun versus 10 being, oh my God, if one more thing changes, I'm going to have a breakdown. And when you come up with your number, write that down on your piece of paper. Eric, for you, what do you have for, for your number? Um, for me, it's about a four. And the primary emotion that came up, which is interesting for me, around change with the world is actually frustration. Hmm. The whole like, I finally got used to how things work kind of ah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Makes total sense. Um, given how complicated the world is, it takes a lot to figure it out. And then to have it, the rug yanked out from under us to have a whole new set of complications is Yep, frustration. Thank you for that. Of course. Okay, so we'll start it's out of the hand. Even though. Even though. I feel uncertain about all the changes in the world. I feel uncertain about all the changes in the world. I would like to utterly and profoundly love and accept myself. I would like to utterly and profoundly love and accept myself even though part of me is very afraid of change. Even though part of me is very afraid of change. I would like to love and accept myself. I would like to love and accept myself. Even though the uncertainty of change frightens me. 
Even though the uncertainty of change frightens me. I would like to love and accept all that I am. I would like to love and accept all that I am. Okay, top of the head. Change is scary. Change is scary. Inside corner of the eyebrow. I hate not knowing what's going to happen. I hate not knowing what's going to happen. Side of the eye. I don't know what things are gonna change into. I don't know what things are going to change into. Under the eye. I hate being uncertain about this. I hate being uncertain about this. Under the nose. Being uncertain is so uncomfortable. Being uncertain is so uncomfortable. Crease of the chin. I hate the feeling of discomfort in my body. I hate the feeling of discomfort in my body. Collarbone. I'm afraid of what I might lose if things change. I'm afraid of what I might lose if things change. Under the arm. I'll have lost everything I've learned how to do. I'll have lost everything that I've learned how to do. Inside of the wrist. I've just figured a bunch of stuff out. I just figured a bunch of stuff out. Inside of the hand. And I'm so frustrated that knowledge may be for nothing. And I'm so frustrated that that, 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 that knowledge may be for nothing. Top of the head. And what if I can't learn how to survive the new world? And what if I can't learn to survive the new world? Inside of the eye. What if my actions change things for the worse? What if my actions change things for the worse? Inside of the eye. But mostly I don't feel like I have any control over all the changes I see. But mostly I don't have any control over all the changes that I see. Under the eye. I hate not having control. I hate not having control. Under the nose. I hate having everything change around me all the time. I hate having everything change around me all the time. Crease the chin. I feel I'm in a constant state of uncertainty. I feel that I am in a constant state of uncertainty. Collarbone. I feel stressed by all the changes. I feel stressed by all the changes. Under the arm. And worried about the changes to come. And worried about the changes to come. Inside of the wrist. I'm afraid I'm not competent to handle the changes in the world. I'm afraid I'm not competent to handle the changes in the world. Side of the hand. I'm afraid I'm not competent to handle any kind of change. There's been too much. I'm afraid I'm not competent to handle any amount of change. There's been too much. Okay, let's pause there. Nice deep breath into the nose, out to the mouth. Letting the air go down into the lower belly and softly release. And check into your body, see what emotions have come up, what feelings and sensations in your bodies have come up. Thoughts and feelings, memories that may have come up. And take a minute to write those down. A memory may come up that doesn't feel related, but if it came up, it means in fact it does it is important and it's something that would like to be healed by the tapping. And then when you're ready, check in and see what your number is now on a scale from zero to 10 and how you feel about the idea of change. So Eric, that's a say where what came up for you during the tapping sure um what well, it's interesting and this this actually surprised me a little bit what came what, the, what kept coming up was this thought of how resilient i've been with all the change that has happened mm. which is which is kind of kind of like oh i didn't realize i felt that strongly about it which is cool um, yes. I will admit there was a twinge with control, but that's a separate 
topic. Um, but yeah, but when it comes to the the change and ever of everything, it, it feels like barely a one now. So fabulous. Yeah, fabulous. Well, for those who aren't a one yet, I'd like to do a little more tapping and also do some tapping in. I love the word resilience that you used. I think if nothing else, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a, a gift with every price that we have to pay. And if, if there's nothing else, it's like finding our own strength and seeing what we're capable of has been a huge piece of this time. That's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Okay. So we'll start inside of the hand. Even though change is scary. Even though change is scary. I would like to love and accept myself. I would like to love and accept myself. Even though change is frightening. Even though change is frightening. I choose to believe I can handle the changes that come my way. I choose to believe that I can handle the changes that come my way. Even though change brings uncertainty. Even though change brings uncertainty. I know it helps me stronger and be more resilient. I know it helps me be stronger and more resilient. Okay, top of the head. Change is just scary. Change is just scary inside core of the eye it brings me so much uncertainty it brings me so much uncertainty side of the eye change also seems to just be part of life change also seems to just be part of life under the eye really everything around me is changing all the time really everything all around me is changing all the time under the nose and it always has been. And it always has been. Crease of the chin. And sometimes it's hard to handle all the change. And sometimes it's hard to handle all the change. Collarbone. But I know I'm changing too. But I know I'm changing too. Under the arm. I believe I'm changing to be stronger and more resilient. I believe that I am changing to be stronger and more resilient inside of the wrist and as i get more used to change and as i get more used to change side of the hand the better i can handle anything the world throws at me the better that i can handle anything that the world throws at me top of the head i want to trust that some of the changes in the world are going to make the world better i want to trust that some of the changes in the world will make the world better Inside corner of the eye. I want to believe that I can change for the better. I want to believe that I can change for the better. Side of the eye. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe I can handle any changes that are headed my way. I believe that I can handle any changes that are headed my way. Under the eye. I've handled everything so far. I've handled everything so far. Under the nose. And I have survived and thrived. And I have survived and thrived. Crease of the chin. The changes I've handled already have already made me stronger. The changes that I've handled already have already made me stronger. Collarbone. I can do it again. And I can do it again. Under the arm. I believe I have the strength to handle change. I believe that I have the strength to handle change. Inside of the wrist. I believe I am becoming even more resilient and strong. I believe that I am becoming even more resilient and strong. Inside of the hand. And I believe I have the courage to face the changes in the world and thrive. And I believe I have the courage to face the changes in the world and thrive. Okay, it's pause. Nice deep breath. If you're feeling anything strong coming up, keep tapping. Keep tapping until the sensations, be they physical or emotional, they calm down. Just 
Trust the tapping will help. It always does. And just keep breathing. Otherwise, check in and see what your number looks like and write down any other thoughts or feelings or memories that may have come up during the tapping. And Eric, you can check in whenever you're ready. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was great. Like I'm I'm at zero. I feel really good. Wonderful. Yeah, thank Wonderful. you. That was great. Great. I'm so glad to hear. For those of you who are listening, you know, one of the great things about these podcasts is you can just listen to them over and over again and, you know, get, get a, the days when you feel like you need a little pick me up. This is a great thing to tap to. Anything that you wrote down is are more things you can just set the intention to tap on those issues that came up for you or memories and bring down the triggers around those. And together we heal. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Stacy. Thank you, listeners and viewers. And we'll see you again next week for another Tapping Thursday.